Hi Libra! Welcome to Tarot the Accurate. Um, so this reading is going to be for anyone who's a Libra sun, moon, or rising, or maybe you are looking at a Libra and you want to get with them, so you're checking up on their single status and what their month's going to be like for June. I am going to cover in this reading the general sentiment or feeling for the month, um, an issue or important circumstance that might come up that we need to, that we could actually maneuver and then the advice on how to maneuver that so that we get through this pretty unscathed so we end up happier. And then um, singles reading, couples reading, a reading for those of you in between, like an on-again, off-again relationship, or maybe it doesn't have a label on it because it's new, um, or because you're hiding it from somebody. <laughs> and then also we're going to look at work. So I'm using two different decks here. I've got the Miss Cleo Power Tarot deck as well as the Deepak Chopra Manifesting Good Luck and Love, in Love Relationships, I think it's called. Good Luck, Love and Relationships, yes. Okay, so we'll do an affirmation for the month in general, as well as for love, so that you could use those daily or whenever you get around to it to kind of help keep you on your path so that you receive more blessings. So here we go, Libras. What is the general sentiment for the month of June for you all? Okay, so the trouble is romance doesn't really feel like it's showing up. And you're kind of like, I don't even know that I want to make this a real, like a priority in my life. Like, I don't know that I want a relationship or if I have one that I really want to put the work into it. It just seems like things aren't really balanced or fair, like my work-life relationship balance is kind of out of whack. And then really it's because you're working so hard that you don't have the energy, okay? And they're like, this is just one of those things that you kind of have to wait out. But the trouble is that, like, how long do you wait it out? Because at some point you want to meet your partner. At some point you want to find someone to help support you, to help balance you emotionally, financially, and like for the longer term. So that's kind of where our thoughts are, our feelings. Let's see what else we have for feelings. I feel like a lot of you, the reason why you're working hard is not out of selfishness. It might be for other people. Maybe you're helping to, um, maybe you send money to your mother. Or maybe you have children and that's your biggest priority. But emotionally, by not having balance between like your social life and your work life and all of these responsibilities that you have, you're damaging yourself and it's starting to make you feel kind of emotionally crazy. Um, not crazy as in like cuckoo, but it's driving you totally nuts where like all of a sudden you could be watching something on TV and you just break down and start crying. And you're like, who is this person? Like maybe it's a little bit that like crying over a Cheetos commercial, stuff like that. And it's just because your stress level is so high. And so here you are where you have basically everything. Okay. She's she's pretty stable, right? She's leaning on this chair. She's got her money. She's got her fertility, like her, her sexiness. Um, this bunny could represent like a child or a family. And for the most part, um, you know, the ground takes up almost half of the card. So earthly things, material things, for the most part, they're pretty stable now. And that might not have been something that you had before. So now that you're here, you kind of want to keep staying there, right? But the trouble is she has everything except for really like love and connection, whether that's romantic love or friendship, something like that is you need more of it. Okay. And it's kind of messing up your confidence a little bit to mm -hmm. not have oh, that. I have one with my friend. Can you what? I have one with my friend. Here at our house? No, like outside. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. And, um, so... What is our circumstance for Libra? It's saying that we are trying to figure out this balance that I was talking about. And we're really not being busy at anyone else. It's not like we're blame shifting. Um, but internally, we might be struggling a little bit. We might not be feeling very positive or optimistic. We know what we have to do, but we kind of fail to take action to execute it. It's like, I know that I need more balance. I know that I need to make time for friends um, to start dating or things like that but I just can't, you know, that's kind of what you're feeling. Cause you feel like what you're doing is for the highest good of everybody, but you have to remember that you are part of everybody. It's like, you're doing everything for everybody. Like you're giving extra, maybe you're salaried and you're working extra hours to keep the company you work at 
like on track or um, you're spending your time mowing your old lady neighbor's grass because you care for her and you know then you've got your kids you've got all these responsibilities but who's looking out for you that's the issue okay so how do we fix it they're like get new ideas you have to move on um, from this way of thinking. Like, take that knowledge and do something with it because you're going to be more at peace. It says that it doesn't necessarily mean, like, take lovers just to have, like, a human connection. But, like, just really assert who you are and what you need to the people around you. Um, I read this article once about this woman that she was really stressed out with her job and she was like finding herself coming home and just like kind of screaming at the kids and all of this stuff for no reason. Like they just wanted to see her, you know, cause she was at work all day and she was just stressed. So what she started doing was she started wearing a scarf. So when she would come in the house, she had her scarf on and then she would take like 30 minutes to change her clothes, decompress, maybe read a book for 10 minutes, like in her bed, in the quiet. And then when she would come out of the room, if she had her scarf off, everybody could talk to her and approach her and get them to sign your permission slips or whatever for school. All of these things. Whereas if she walked out there with the scarf on, it was like she just needed a snack, but she still needs to be left alone. Now, that might be something um, for those of you trying to balance things out, uh, an idea, like a baby step in the right direction, okay? But you do need to take time out for yourself. Get a massage, get your hair done, get your nails done, get do something, something for yourself. Schedule yourself time to read or um, time to rest, a little cat nap. Things like that is definitely needed for a Libra this month. Now for those of you who are single, it's kind of cool. Now the thing is, you might be so you're feeling kind of confident like when it comes to being able to attract people, but you might be looking backwards. You might be bringing people from the past back into the present. <laughs> and they're like, the thing is, is that right now you have a lot of divine support. And so if you were to manifest something, then it's very likely that the right kind of person would come along for you. But the trouble is that maybe you're not manifesting things for the future. You're taking things from the past and bringing them into now. And it's creating confusion. Or maybe you just haven't taken that time out and set aside like time to really think about what it is that you want because you think you want a certain thing but then reality sets in and that's what you get and you're like mm, I don't know about that it's like you're so overwhelmed that you can't even think straight like you're having a hard time manifesting things that are good for you because you don't even have time to think about what you want and so this is saying that it's creating stagnation so if you were to take that time out for yourself and focus all of a sudden things will start flowing and they're like don't lie to yourself though about what you want either because some of you are gonna say things like I don't want anything serious right and but these are the qualities that I would like in a person so all of a sudden this person shows up but maybe um, they're like the perfect person for you you start dating you start falling in love with them but you said I don't want anything serious so now you know the person that you attracted who meets all of these categories of things that you want is somebody who travels all the time and so they're not really available because you said I don't want somebody that's really serious right so think in broader like longer terms okay they're like be confident about what it is that you wish for because you can have it and you deserve it a lot of you might be feeling like well I don't know that I actually want to put effort into manifesting something because I don't have the time or the energy to really devote to a relationship so then maybe manifest that you want somebody that is okay with you giving them time when it can be you you know that sort of a thing I mean we've all been in relationships where maybe we felt a little bit neglected but we stayed right um, hoping that it would get better so why can't you be the person that does that just be honest if they want to try it then good for them and if they don't then they don't they're like but but things will go the way that they're going until you decide to change them okay now for those of you who are coupled Libras what do I see So this is interesting because I feel like two different things are happening here. We're like a 40-60 split. 
40% of you happily ever after. The person that you picked is perfect for you. Now, um, I guess I don't know that this is 60. I want to say it's 40, 40, and then the other 20 of you are something completely different. This one is like, okay, well, I love this person, but it's not exactly what I want. And I'm starting to think about maybe moving on from this. It's saying that it's not time to make a decision. Um, for those of you who have found your person, it is time to just like kind of move things ahead to like go all in on it. You can move in together, you can get married, any of that stuff, really good stuff because that is not going to change. So it's totally safe to do so. But for the other ones of you who are kind of like, um, starting to look kind of outside thinking about what would it be like if I was with somebody else or if I was on my own, like I love them, but maybe I'm not in love with them anymore. I don't know how long I want to stay here. Like I just want more love, like, because eight cups is really good, but I want ten, right? <laughs> They're like, even though you're not making a decision about it right now, you don't have to go deep within and really think about it, but just start considering whether or not they are um, the kind of person that you want to be with forever. Like, how deeply are you bonded? Why are you together in the first place? Do you have the same hobbies? Do you have the same interests? Or do you deeply actually care about each other? Now, for you other 20%, that were neither of those. For Libras, it might be better if you're having love issues to get a personal reading. I mean, it always is going to be more accurate and precise, um, regardless of what the issue is. But wherever it just kind of clicked for you is where I would go with this reading when it's a general reading, okay? So for the other ones of you, don't be suspicious. Don't be nervous. Things aren't jacked up as much as you think they might be. Your relationship is actually really stable and healthy. Now, some of you might be thinking it isn't because maybe your partner's hard to read. Um, but they're like, really what it is, is it's just that there's good things and there's bad things in the relationship. And the good things are so much fun. And there might be more bad things than good things. But, like, it's actually kind of balanced. They said that um, maybe the issue here is actually sexual, where it's like you like them and there's a lot of good things about them, um, but you're just not getting any anymore. And so that makes you kind of wonder, like, is my partner cheating on me? Um, what are they doing? Like, why are we not bumping and grinding? <laughs> but it's nothing to worry about. Everything's fine. Okay. They might just, when they say they're tired, they might actually just be tired. Okay. So for those of you who are in between, you're in an on-again, off-again relationship, or you just haven't labeled it yet, maybe you're polyamorous, something like that. Well, what it's saying is you might not be feeling like your sexiest right now. You might not be feeling super magnetic and attractive and I want to pull a clarifier on this one. And they're like, but that's not really a mindset that you should stay in. They're like, focus on all your positive traits. And I'm getting a specific message about like the way that if you're a female, the way that you do your eye makeup, like if you just change it, if you just twerk it a little bit, um, if you something about drawing it out to the corners a little bit more, like not with I'm getting top liner, not bottom. But, like, if you're just to bring it like this a little bit, like, arc it up, you're going to like that a lot better and feel more confident. I don't – maybe that's for, like, four of you. Um, what they're saying is it's just hard right now, the way that we started this reading, especially that same kind of energy where it's, like, you kind of have everything but love. And um, they're, like – but it's just the time that's passing. Like, yeah, it's sad and it kind of sucks right now, but – it just is what it is, and, like, the sooner that you start to feel confident and good about your physical appearance, because this is more about, like, not, it's not about talking to people. It's not about meeting people. I'm going to sneeze. I'm sorry. Okay, maybe that. Um, it's more about, like, physical issues, like, body issues, like, maybe trying to figure out what you're going to wear in the summer, like, when you're in your 30s. It's like... Oh my gosh, these shorts either show my coochie, my coochie or I look like a lesbian. Like, there's no in-between. So it could be things like that, you know? Um, but they're like, the sooner that you start to find ways to feel good about your physical appearance, like maybe change your hair color, whatever it takes, paint your nails, the sooner you're going to start to heal and feel better and then be ready to kind of become a coupled Libra. Okay? So moving on to work. 
What do we have for Libras in the month of June? <sighs> Exhaustion. You're tired. <laughs> but new opportunities are coming. And this could be um, a new job entirely. This could be a new position within the place that you work. But this could also be a raise or a promotion. This could just be a new idea as well. This could be you launching your own business. A lot of wonderful things to come. They say that... Be careful, though, um, if you are launching your own business, that you don't do it with a partner because you're too generous, you're too giving, and then that will be taken advantage of, they will take from you, and you'll try to see it from a different perspective, like, oh, well, they couldn't be that malicious or selfish, like, we went in this together, um, but it's just because you don't want to believe the worst in people, so I would caution you, like, if you're thinking about going into business with somebody else, have like spend the ten dollars to get get that reading done or um, really meditate think this through pray about it whatever to find the answer to make sure that they're really the person you want to do this with because it looks to me that as an individual it's better even though it's more work there's like it's so much to think about I don't know that I have time to think about that like I'm kind of confused is worth the investment to take the time to think it through and I just pulled that same thing again okay so they're like, if anything, stay in that confusion and don't move it forward then this month until you really assess that because it's better for you to know in advance than to go through the drama that would ensue. Um, they're like, this would be very bad. Very, very bad. So if you're a Libra and you're considering going into business, try to do it on your own. Make sure, Or if you're going to do it with a partner, make sure that it's the right partner. Okay. Now I'm going to say husband and wives. I wouldn't necessarily say that this applies. I'm talking about someone outside. So this could be a best friend. This could be a sibling. This could be an investor, but you definitely want to look at that. Okay. Now looking at affirmations in general for the month of June for Libras, what do I have? Facing relationships challenges give me the insight to undergo interchange and growth. So this could very well be in that situation that I was talking about with uh, business kind of things. Facing relationship challenges give me the insight to undergo interchange and growth. So this is going to say, okay, you know what? Well, or even relationship changes when we're talking about um, dating and things like that, where you're maybe not manifesting the right people because you don't have time for you. How can you expect anyone else to fill you up if you can't fill you up, right? Nobody else can make you happy if you can't be happy first. So, tough discussions, eh? Um, and then for love, I reveal my true emotions to those who are closest to me. So don't be afraid to speak your truth this month, okay? Love and light, and see you soon. Bye, Libras. Thanks so much for watching my video. Check out terriblyaccurate.com for a personal reading. Follow on Snapchat, like on Facebook.